it is not done for us to introduce to you a chocolate expert. Please put your hands together for Mr. Angel. Once Mr. Angel's presentation is finished, you will have 20 minutes and then uh, for you to look to the bar, to the boutique and the restaurants and then we will see you outside where the transportation is. We will make an appointment anyhow. I'll see you there. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. Thank you, thank you very much. Now we show the doors and now you're fine. <laughs> Amigos, familia, are you having a good time? Yes. yes. Welcome to the Caribbean, welcome to the Mayan Cacao Company. It's time to show you how to make chocolate. Go ahead, take pictures, ask questions, anything you want to know about traditional cocoa. So basically, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. I'm gonna take cocoa beans, natural cocoa beans, and I place them on the metate. A metate, traditional heavy limestone that Mayan women used to have to prepare the food. And the tradition is like this. The metate belongs to a woman, to her mother, to her grandmother, grand-grandmother, so I can talk very easy of 300 years of history on a single stone. But now it's time to pass this tradition to you, like this. I have to grind the cocoa beans. Excelente, very, very good. Ah, yes. <laughs> and many years ago, the Mayans didn't have any milk or sugar, but they got many plants from those plants, they add three important ingredients. And uh, let's check. The first one is the old spice. I'm sure everybody knows the old spice, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sorry about my pronunciation. People confuse that with the aftershave. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> now, this is for cooking, and it's very good on Christmas for pumpkin pies, apple pies, mm -hmm. rum cakes, maybe a sweet potato pie. Am I right? Yes. yes. Then I have cinnamon. Just a little bit more of cinnamon, and we have a chiote. Then I guess you feel more familiar with the name paprika. You think about it, the red color. The red color for the Mayans was the big deal. Red color symbolized the life, it was something to honor the Mayan gods and please them. And actually, the condiment doesn't affect the flavor or the aroma, but allows me to have red color in my recipe. So, let's continue. I keep mixing this a little bit more. And amigos, familia, the powder is ready. Now, the next step will be only water, hot water, and I mix it. So I can show you this. The first original Ampre Hispanic chocolate. This is something really energetic. It's pure, it's organic, it's not easy to drink. And the Mayans truly believe that we have in here the food of the gods. Chocolate given only to the royalty and given only in a special ceremonies like a Mayan wedding, a funeral, or a sacrifice. But come on, everybody knows that. <laughs> I want to tell you something else. This kind of chocolate was given to the warriors. They drink it so they have energy to be fighting for one day. When they get injured, they can take the same cocoa powder or the liquid chocolate to heal their wounds like an antiseptic. Of course, my young women used to have this like a body lotion. And the women that were pregnant, they put some of that on their bellies for no stretch marks. Everybody knows the commercial name, Coco Butter. <laughs> this is something very, very good and a good medicine. What do I mean? In that time, when you had a sore throat, a headache, or fever, drinking good chocolate was an excellent solution. This is very strong, and I want to give you an idea. If you drink maybe 10 or 15 bowls of pure cocoa, you can get drunk. Yes, I'm sure. I do that every week. <laughs> Amigos, it's time to show you the complete recipe. Would you like to see it? Yes. Many years later, the Spanish conquerors came to this continent and they were looking for something in particular. Do you remember what is that? Oh. Oh, correct, amigos. A legendary city of gold and dorado. They were looking for gold, silver, precious stones. But Mayans, Aztecs, Olmecs, they don't care about that. It's just simple decoration. The most important thing in that time is the food. If you have pepper, if you have corn, you have cocoa, you are rich, you have money. They consider cocoa beans always. And they decided to offer the best thing that they got, pre-Hispanic drink. 
Spanish conquerors tried it, they drink it, they didn't like it. Can you tell me why? Yeah. Not sweet. Exactly. So they decided to add by the first time the sugar. Here we go. One, two, and three spoons. Then we add a little bit of honey. Just a little bit more in pure vanilla. Here we go. And now I need only 10 seconds to show you how easy it is to make this chocolate. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got Fred Hispanic chocolate. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Amigos.